来台湾参加马总统就职活动的美国众议员祝贺团，今天上午跟马总统会面之后，中午跟外交部长杨敬天继续进行了参叙。祝贺团的团长，也就是美国众议院外交委员会主席罗斯雷廷南表示，美国绝对会在军事上支持台湾。而对于马总统“一国两区”这样的谈话，美方则是保持中立。外交部长杨敬天和驻美代表袁建生夫妇亲自站在门口迎接前来参叙的美国众议院祝贺团。团长、外交委员会主席罗斯雷提南首度接受媒体访问。他说，美国众议院上周已经要求政府卖给台湾六十六架 F 十六 CD 型战机。Has expressed its desire to provide our democratic partner of Taiwan with the with the best. More sophisticated uh, military hardware to meet the uh, uh, the definite uh, needs of uh, defensive needs of of Taiwan and the F-16s and the diesel submarines are in that category. 呼吁台湾扩充武力，提高军事预算。出身共产政权而移民到美国的罗斯议员重视民主、人权，一向很挺台湾。对马总统提出的一国两区，他选择中立。It is not up to the to the United States Congress, to our delegation, or、uh, or for anyone to decide for the Taiwanese、uh, people and their government what best strategy they should pursue.、Uh, we certainly have our opinions, are very free in expressing our opinions when we meet with the various leaders as well as opposition leaders. So we have、uh, mutual interests, we have mutual values, and、uh, it is、uh, it is not up to us to impose upon Taiwan. Uh, the Taiwanese people, what、uh, what they should do. 希望台湾维持自由繁荣。不过，马总统接见罗斯一行人时，也有话对他们说。很希望未来能够，呃，恢复跟美国在经贸议题上的协商。一九九四年，我们已经签了 TIFA， 这是一个很好的平台。那么，当然我们必须要先解决美牛的问题，来，呃，能够排除一些人为的障碍。总统暗示美方，他会处理好美牛问题，以牛肉争取经贸空间。但是在在野党反对瘦肉精美牛进口，蓝营也有意见的情况下，六月的美牛修法势必有得瞧。民事新闻综合报道。